among 4,500 small and big mountains. You will never fail to find an old Buddhist temple. To Korean people, Buddhism is more than just a religion. It is the heart of Korean culture. Along Protestantism, Buddhism is one of the most believed religions for Koreans today. A variety of Buddhist cultures, such as tea ceremonies and cultures of food, are deeply embedded in everyday lives of Koreans. For example, temple stays have made their mark as a symbol of Korean culture. More than just a unique opportunity to experience Buddhism, it provides a peaceful place for rest and meditation. Thus, Buddhism is kept alive in the modern society in many ways. Originating from India, Buddhism spread along the Silk Road to China, Korea, and Japan. The spread of Buddhism played an important role in bringing East Asia together. Korea, China, and Japan each had their own unique Buddhism, which created East Asian Buddhist culture. Chinese Buddhism, influenced by Buddhism from India and its northwestern regions, had diverse aspects of ideology and artistry. However, Pure Land Buddhism is the mainstream Buddhism in China today. Affected by Taoism, religious precepts are practiced with importance, especially when it comes to food. Buddhism in Korea not only served as a religion, but it also played a valuable role in ethnic Korean culture. Buddhist culture blended well with traditions, such as ancient beliefs and shamanism, thus beginning the development of a national culture. In the case of Japan, esoteric Buddhism and Buddhism affiliated with Shinto flourished, quickly pushing the once practiced Zen Buddhism out of the picture. Korean Buddhism was a significant influence to East Asian Buddhist culture. Buddhist monks from Korean Peninsula notably affected different sects of Buddhism in China and also led the influx of Buddhism in Japan. The most distinctive trait in Korean Buddhism is Zen Buddhism. Derived from Mahayana Buddhism, Zen Buddhism is about searching for the inner Buddha by practicing discipline. The ultimate goal is to reach Nirvana. Zen Buddhism flourished in Korea, despite not having been successful in China or Japan. And to this current day, it still remains intact. The philosophy of patriotism is another unique characteristic of Korean Buddhism. Determined to protect the nation with Buddhism, cultural heritages like Tripitaka Koreana were created. Whenever the country was invaded, Buddhist monks participated in warfare and fought as monk soldiers. Korean Buddhism also takes pride in the quality of its arts and cultures. Many of the Buddhist cultural assets in Korea are on UNESCO's World Heritage List in recognition for its historicity and artistry. 
although Joseon Dynasty's Neo-Confucian movement suppressed Buddhism in the past, and Western religions have captured the hearts of Koreans in the present, deep down inside, Korean people still harbor Buddhist culture. This is because Buddhism has stayed with them throughout history as Koreanized Buddhism.